Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to present to you the uh, Malibu range of camper vans. I'm going to give you a quick overlook of uh, what you can find in them. And if you want to see more detail, then you, there'll be separate videos with more detail on them. So I'm going to start off with this one here, only 541 centimeters in length. All of these vehicles have a price range of around 85,000, around approximately, you know, give a, give or take uh, 10%, uh, but they're, they're not cheap, but they are very attractive. Now a 541 centimeter long vehicle, you can park it almost in, in standard car parking space. I say almost because it's 205 centimeters in width. So if we're looking at the Fiat Ducato, we've got three sizes. Uh, so that's 541, 599, and 636 centimeters. This is what the tent in the roof looks like. And it's more or less the same in all car to go models. You've got two lights up there with a the light switch. You've got windows on either side and at the front. Uh, the ladder, no matter which van you get, will of course get in your way. Of course you can put it to one side where it won't bother you. Uh, at the back, in this case, we've got a low bed. Come, these vans come with low beds and high beds and depends what you're looking for. If it's a high bed, you get more storage. Uh, but then again, you might want a low bed for ease of access. Depends what you're looking for. Another feature of Cartago is this, is that notice how the storage compartments are going back like that, sloped backwards. Most vans have them slip this way. So what happens when if you opened up the other way, way, then your stuff falls out as soon as you open it, or at least happens often that way. Uh, so in this case, it doesn't. Of course, if it sloped the other way, then you would have more space for storage. An unfortunate thing here is that we've got space which is wasted. You know, in a van of this size, you one cannot really waste the space and in that case it has been done what would have been the solution either a net nets of course it does slope round or taking the lockers as far as they as far as they will go as they're sloping back then they won't be hitting each other as they get opened uh, here we've got uh, the wardrobe now it depends on what one's looking for but I think having no bottom in the wardrobe is a good thing because obviously in this case you're gonna to have to sleep in this direction your feet are gonna be under here somewhere because I think that that is not enough space to put your head so if your feet are down here and your shirts or coats are hanging down there then maybe that won't bother you so much in here we've got more storage and you notice how this does go back using the space which is there Uh, washroom and now one a feature that Alibu uses is this sliding toilet now I am uh, opposed to sliding toilets the problem with the sliding toilet is that I fear they may stop sliding one day um, now and Pilot has a big problem with this they uh, don't but uh, Malibu or Cartago seems to be operating on a different system and the uh, I've never heard anybody complain at this, and I've got a number of viewers actually uh, using these uh, vehicles. So, so no one's said anything that the, the, the toilet's got stuck somewhere. Uh, in this case, we've got a pull-out sink. Mirror in here. Uh, okay, two burners is more or less standard in a small sink in all uh, motorhomes of. Uh, sorry, all camper vans. And down here, we've got the the fridge. There you go. There's the fridge. Let's, uh, let's go out. Let's have a look in the back, actually, because I would like to demonstrate the amount of uh, space that there is at the back of the van as well. Because one feature of having a low bed is, is this. The gas cupboard is smaller there's not so much space in it and so you, you can't use the larger gas canisters but also with all uh, camper vans 
know, this, this will lift up and you can carry stuff which is bigger. Uh, this is a, this partition uh, is another cartago feature. Could be handy if you've got your deck chairs and outdoor tables and things of that nature uh, put down there. Now the tent in the roof is an option and we won't see it in all the other vehicles. This is a six meter uh, long vehicle, 600 LE, and it comes at a cost of 74,602. And uh, so, as I come in, uh, we've got the kitchen block with a nice um, logo. Uh, we've got an extension to the kitchen. I'll come in and uh, some of them have storage in the bulwark. Others don't. Uh, notice the same uh, storage compartments here. Okay, it's a bigger van, so there's more space. Let's get some lights on. And there you have uh, more lights on inside. Uh, lentils, lentils are extra. Sink. Two burners, same fridge, shower, the same as we just saw, but here we've got lengthwise beds and they've got this really clever feature down here. This I really like, that's a motorhome type fe feature. You've got here a wardrobe, just lift the bed up, of course you can open this up as well. But if you can just lift the bed up, isn't that nice and easy? That is super, in, in my opinion. Uh, it does have this pointless bar down here. I don't know what the point of that is. That's to keep your keys and the foreign coins you don't know anything to do, do with. Some models have got storage at the back. Others haven't. In this case, you've got a bed which measures 202 by uh, well it depends if, if the whole thing was actually filled in but it's it's more it's almost four square meters anyway of bed uh so uh that uh, i think is quite good you've got down here you've got a step up uh the beds will of course move to one side should you want to this will lift up i'll demonstrate that from the back and it, this part here will also move out should it be necessary, should you have something which is uh, long, which you want to carry, such as skis, scaffolding, snakes, that type of thing. And, right, come to the back and here. Now, uh, as the bed is higher, gives far more space here uh, for carrying things, but obviously the top, there's less space. Uh, also seen here, we can get the full size gas cabinet and also this uh, which I pointed out earlier this will come out got the boiler down there this one is a 636 centimeter long vehicle it's called GT Skyview it's called Skyview because it has no storage in the bulwark this will cost 85,592 so 636 centimeters long and that's the reason it's called the sky view. Uh, I think that's better. I do like storage, but I do like also lots of light in the van. And one way of getting a lot of light in the van is to turn the lights on. Where are the lights? You're probably wondering. Well, they conveniently put a little thing through here, so I'm gonna touch that like that. But I'll show you what's behind it. There you have the, um, the, 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 the control panel, and there you've got your heating. Uh, some companies hide this, but I mean, this case is not really necessary, but there are those companies have like five or six panels up here, uh, which I think is totally pointless. Anyway, two burners, got a sink, large storage under the kitchen, and in here, uh, okay, once more you can see, there's a sliding toilet, I'll push this up here like that, close that, and sink there up uh, here we've got a sliding door i shall come inside and demonstrate the sliding door you can see it there can you yeah possibly there you go and the sliding door you can see the trap for it down there as well 
It's handy this because you can sort of get into the, the fridge from the shower and also get into the fridge from the bed. And below it, we've got down here is a wardrobe and some pull out drawers. Nice there. Also, it's got this nice um, wardrobe here as well, which I showed earlier. So, this vehicle is longer, but it's offering more. Uh, they obviously all come with uh, shore power plugs and 12 volt plugs. This one here is the Van Comfort 640 LE. This costs 78,000 uh, euros. So 636 centimeters in length. You see storage in the bulwark. Uh, we've got um, coming back, same bed, same um, uh, uh, wardrobe. Put the lights on. But what this has got, which is, it's got sort of a two room concept, it's called. Which I'll show you, if I can get the thing open. Which I can't get open. I'll take that back, this isn't a two, this is a one room concept, sorry. Uh, is the toilet, uh, same as we had in the, the last one. And very similar otherwise. Let's now go into the next one, which is down here. And this is a uh, vehicle which will cost 84,000 GT Skyview 600 dB. Um, so, Skyview up there, six meter long vehicle. It's got a width-wise bed, but it's a really big bed. Fortunately, it's got the storage things in the side again, which I don't like. Fridge down here, only one-way fridge. Rather attractive drawers here. And that toilet again. So 640 LEK GT Skyview. Uh, this has got 636 centimeters in length, uh, the cost of 91 and a half thousand. Skyview allows for more lights. We've got the rear, which is, we've already seen. So really they're sort of just minor differences on the on the pattern and oh I didn't show this in any of the other vehicles storage down here and this there you go there's a storage for shoes or something like this possibly can't appreciate it very much because of the light coming in the angle And here we have <laughs> the uh, cost of 84,604 LEK. It's called a diversity coupe. In the, a video I did four years ago, I tried to get an explanation of the word coupe as far as something like this was concerned. And I still don't quite understand what it is. I mean, I understand what it is with a car, but with a camper van, I really don't. Sometimes televisions are put up here. In this case, there's something completely pointless. Maybe it hasn't got the storage up front and it hasn't got a window up front. Maybe that's a coupe, who knows? So here, GT Skyview, 
the sky view is the, uh, the the light up front this thing here is going to cost one hundred thousand seven hundred and fifty euros wow a fiat ducato camper van costing in excess of one hundred thousand euros there's lights there out so storage down here as we saw uh we've got these large drawers here and on the other side as well there's a wardrobe two wardrobes wardrobe one wardrobe two uh storage here as before and here we have the washroom now this is what carter got calls a two room idea so i'll close that there i'll open this up like this this has got a magnet that goes around there and now what we've got is a dressing room here's the sh ta shower toilet and if i come in here and so there look you come out the shower you've got a to towel on the floor and there you've got your your shirts and things you've got your socks your uh, trousers whatever you can actually dress up front with this closed now what would be the point of that um it's, it's the following when i come out the shower or before i go in the shower i should say i i have a curtain up front so i close the curtain so uh if anybody wants to see me then then they can't but uh, in this case it's probably a bit easier i think that is the function of the additional room it's not as though somebody was sleeping up front for example and uh so trying to get a bit of privacy but anyway good that's uh i think a nice feature so another 636 centimeter long vehicle and uh this one here comes at a cost of 84,000 euros. So, storage in the bulwark. We've got uh, the bed. Uh, it, oops, it was on, sorry. Um, got the same washroom as we just saw. We've got the same storage here as we just saw. So, what's the difference why is this one twenty thousand? well nearly uh 16 000, let's say uh euros cheaper it's probably the equipment which it has so this is the problem with prices prices actually don't mean uh, a great deal in many cases so this is the malibu van 640 le rb and the final van is this one Malibu Charming uh, 640 LERB GT Skyview first class two rooms so we've seen how the two room concept works uh, let's go and see it finally uh, in this van so what have we got here a, a fridge in the kitchen block uh, we've got the light uh, the sky view there looking down here let's set this on and uh oh what i haven't demonstrated yet oh this will all lift up yeah lift up near the summit see. got storage under the bed with that will come up these cross beams will come up uh, and so you can actually bring everything up like this if you want and that will give you space to carry things uh, which are a bit higher obviously this also will can be raised so, so you've got your um wardrobe that i mentioned earlier uh here we've got once more oops something i don't know i had this open a while what's happened no it's locked don't know anyway the door's got door's got jammed maybe there's somebody in there so we'll leave them in peace uh we've got the uh, kitchen as we've already seen with the these drawers down there and um, i think i'll take you to the back as well I, I oh this the logo at the front i think it looks rather 
inviting. And here you can see how much space there is uh, at the back with also the beds now lifted up, lashing straps on the floor. My first vehicle was a Malibu. I have a soft spot for Malibu as a brand, but um, as a distinctive uh, DNA and look to it. So um, I hope you found it interesting. I've shown the entire range in this video. And if you want to see some uh, videos with more detail in them, then uh, we'll do so. Oh, well, look at this. I didn't show you this one. We'll go on this one. 600 dB GT Skyview at a price of 83,000. Six meter, uh, uh, six meter van. Width-wise bed, measuring, well there's your measurements. It's 191 at the left-hand side, and 164 over here. We've got this toilet here, again. Kitchen block. Storage at the front, sky view. Call the comfort. There we go. So, thanks very much for watching. <laughs> All of these vehicles will be available to be seen in more detail. Uh, but for the moment, from me in uh, Dusseldorf, uh, the Caravan Salon, thanks very much for being here with me and watching, and all the best from Germany.